<laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, here this morning in Elgin, Illinois, which is just outside of Chicago. Uh, getting ready to unload this next load. Now, you guys haven't seen anything about this one yet. Uh, couldn't film it loading because it loaded on the port in Baltimore. And then uh, it was just shit weather the whole trip, so putting the camera outside wouldn't have worked or anything. Uh, it's cold as shit. It's about 15 degrees right now. And uh, here's what we got. So the crate is 13 feet, 2 inches wide, 19 feet long, 8 feet tall. And uh, it all together weighs 97,003 pounds. So this is a big steel press or a, a metal press. Basically, they, they have preformed metal that they go in this facility and it like punches. Uh, I think they call this a perforation press. So it'll punch holes kind of like this. This is how stuff like this is made in big press machines like this. So this goes in as a flat piece of steel and then whatever die they put in there uh, clamps down on it and this is what you end up with. In fact, they actually have stuff that looks like this inside their facility. So uh, anyways, the like I said, the crate's 13 feet, two inches wide. Their door is 12 feet wide. Now I'm no mathematician, but my calculations say that doesn't work. So they are cutting with a chainsaw, cutting this crate apart. And uh, they're gonna take the entire crate apart and then they're gonna pull the machine out. And then I guess they'll take the rest of the crate off the uh, truck. So should be interesting. I'm gonna set it up, let you guys watch it. And uh, don't judge me for my hat because it's cold and you just gotta do what you gotta do.
have it. Um, like I said, that press was 92,000 pounds, uh, 13 feet, two inches wide, eight feet tall, 19 and a half feet long, or, or something like that, 19 feet long. Um, delivered here in Elgin, Illinois. Brought it out of the port in Baltimore. So this place now has their uh, their expansion, their new press, which is a perforation press, as I explained to you. Um, and yeah, so long day to get unloaded, especially when it's 10 degrees outside, but um, at least we're empty and the trip went successfully. So it was a good weekend trip to cover us for the weekend. We picked it up on Friday morning. We delivered it today. Well, we got here yesterday. They couldn't get us off yesterday, so we, we stayed in the hotel and came back this morning and got unloaded. So, uh, let's see, Friday, Saturday, we only ran for like an hour on Sunday and then two hours on Monday. So, pretty easy little trip. And, uh, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry, it was kind of a short little video. Um, but I'd be, I honestly I didn't want to stand outside more than I had to. So it was fucking cold today. So, yeah. So uh, we're gonna figure out what's going on next. Maybe head to the house. Maybe head to get something else. Who knows? But uh, thanks for watching. We made it to uh, I forget the name of this town, Moral, Moral Tunnel or something like that, Arkansas uh, Hotel.